on this one. Split. And you're going to grab it. Outside hand, okay? Come on, forward. Once you come grab, quicker. Come on, come on. Good. Go. Forward, grab it. Even though it's there, I want you to grab it. Quick. Again, grab it. Come on. Move your sprint, please. Come on, come on, come on. Quicker now. Good. Now we're moving. Good. Grab. Moving forward, huh? Close the volume. Not one step. So. Where are we? We're out here in uh, Bella Vista, Arkansas. Training. Thanks, Caden. Beautiful brand new courts. In Bella Vista, Arkansas. Clubhouse up there. Not Swimming pool over out. there. Chris says it's not a bad life out it's here. It's not a bad life. We're putting in work. Tennyson's, Tennyson's finally learning how to train. Um, Dad's behind the camera complaining about our long warm-ups. But there's no injuries, so we're good. But there's no injuries, and we're not on Dad's time out here. That's right. Just on his dollar. Just on his dollar. Let's go. Uh-huh. I like it. I won't miss any on camera, that's for sure. Your son might, though. Just Maybe. not getting the right angle. I doubt it. See anything. Keep their hand strength on the finishes. Everything strong with the hand. Go. Ball it. Ball. 
that full sense of adventure and just going places with your bike. We started bike flights out of that new Longer, dorm wider dorm. step. We were looking for a way to help. Go ahead and reach with the leg. We designed bike flights for you to spread. So keeping yourself down. Perfect. Again. Okay. Up, keep that height right there. Straight through. Not bad, not a bad start hey Mike, like from the tennis sun. A little better today on that same better. drill. Yeah. Huh? I agree. It takes a couple times before it gets through his thick little head. Sorry, they sold out. Tennis warehouse. It's, it's, uh, partner. it's forcing him to move his feet better. Yeah, I like it. I like and the position. Flow. I like the free flow instead of the shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I like him to just pop around and hit. That's what we're working on, getting him moving more. Not, not, waste, slowly, not I mean, wasting yeah. steps. Not wasting steps, just more explosive, quicker, more balanced on the finish. Not a boy. You have to develop your weaknesses. Good. Learn how to hit deep from back there. You can always run forward. Good. Good. Keep it up. Good. Keep it up. Good. Coming at you fast, get up. Get to create space away from it. 
You can walk into these shots and then push away and hit. So you're actually running at them and then getting your tail away from it. And then as you, as that whip, and snap it strong. Let's go. Fall in. So that right leg, you should be running out there. You see them out there, you should be running out there. This is gonna create that space to push you forward. So don't get in a habit of going up and keeping your legs there. Because the ball's still moving. If you're here, you don't have time to push down. You have to lead. If you're here, you can keep your body still on that plane, that level. Let's go. Ball in. Ball in. Look for it. Strong. That's the strong one. That's just this one. The low ones. Ball Drive. Last two. Good. Rest. Get your energy back up. It's a little relaxing hit. Everything solid and driven through the court. Then put a tail on it. Don't put the tail on it from the beginning on the spin. I want you to go solid first, then let it tail. Roll it. Okay, so what I mean is when we were doing that, like let's say that straight arm push through with the arm going through, I want you to do that, that, and then your finger's going to create the tip, or the, the tail. So I want you to go through first, solid, more of a flatter ball, then let it come around naturally. As soon as it can't go any further, ball in. Perfect stroke. Good. So it's almost like you're finishing around. You're finishing over here instead of finishing here. I want you to finish away. So you're creating that contact point out in front now. Good. longer swing there. It just has to be uh, ripped a little tighter.
Volley, volley starts here. A volley comes low, the racket opens up and goes for it. It doesn't circle around the hit, it just pops there, it's always in front. Volley's across the middle, you're just keeping the racket there. It goes from here to there, from there to there, from there to there. Wherever the ball is right away, you're looking at it. If it's coming high, you're reaching high, but you're reaching out in front. If you look at the side view, I'm reaching out. I'm not taking the racket back to go and hit it up here. That'll be late. I'm always reaching forward. I'm always reaching forward to grab the volley there, and I'm always reaching forward to grab it there. Anything you can take in the air, you want to scrape through it to take it in the air rather than let it bounce and take a half volley. Work, but get in a habit of seeing that with your arms. You're, you're hitting a lot of balls to your side. You're making contact to the side of your body when it should be in front. My arms are fully extended hitting volley out front. So there's no like, there's no elbow variation on the volleys. It's locked, it's pushed through. It's locked, it's pushed through. It's locked, it's pushed through. Right there, you're pushing away, but you're keeping your hand pushing forward. Anything that's at you, you're you're going away, but your my arm is still extended because it, it didn't move forward, it didn't move back, it stayed in the place my body pushed away. If it's backhand, it's the same deal. Everything goes there. We're not bringing the racket back to hit volley. We're keeping it there. This acts as like a shelf. This doesn't go this way. It stays. It pushes through. It's locked. Locked there, push through, up, down, everything is in front. There's like a shield here. Consistent on every ball. Everything. Racket doesn't need a lot of variation, it doesn't need a lot of spin, it doesn't need any of that. All it's, all it's doing is pushing through and it's finishing on my right side. If you look at it from there, it's finished on the right side. I'm not going there and then finishing a volley over here. It's struck in, struck in, struck in. If it's high, those are the ones you get to snap off. If it's above your head, then you can pop it off. But otherwise, you're not finishing volleys this way at the net. You're coming around every ball and keeping that shape and hitting down on it with form. So you already are slowing down because your body knows that you're stomping. So same thing will happen on drop, drop volleys. When you're running through a drop volley, you don't slow down because you're going to get there and you're going to start slowing down. You go through the drop volley. You're running all the way through to hit the drop volley. Then you slow down because otherwise you've already slowed down and your mind is slowing down. That's when your body starts to dip. And you have a, you have a big issue on that with the backhand. You stomp and your racket goes like this. We can watch it in that, that match against Hayden. He did it twice. And those are two big points. He did it against me in the, uh, on the courts yesterday where he tried to hit a drop volley and he went like that. It's like a, like a lob volley. Yeah, I lost the point, but there's no way that any pros like missing that ball. You've got to be so precise with your movement where you go all the way through that, where you don't just sit there and reach down and hit a drop volley because it seems like the thing to do because the guy's at the baseline. It's got to be struck perfect. Any pros anticipating as soon as you go like that, he's moving forward. So you've got to beat him with, with the body, keeping it flowing. I think that's one thing that you can really learn is like moving all the way through volleys, finishing the volleys before they, they're done. Like your volley's not done once you meet contact with it, with your racket. And that's where I feel like sometimes you're ending your volley. You're going and you're like, there it is, done. But it's, it's really, there it is, done. Now, pop back. So you're actually moving in a U or in a V every time. You're going to hit the volley. You pop back to hit the next one. And you're leaning again forward to get the next one. So it's not like 
when you're closing, you're not just like closing, 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 like consistently moving forward. You're actually popping back each time. It's like a close, pop back, close, pop back, close. And that way you're always leaning forward. You're not gonna get caught too close to where you're leaning backwards. You're always creating that kickback. And that's what you want. That's what we gotta develop from you because you're such a good athlete that you need to be able to move athletically at the net. And you have good reach with that right. Half court, don't make me go through these. Overhead have to be put away, but put away through me. You can snap them off. Go. doing this drill. It's a tough one. Let's go. 